The decision to parole Chris Hani's killer has been met with an emotional reaction. Janusz Wadusz has served nearly 30 years of his life sentence for the 1993 assassination of the anti-apartheid icon outside his East Rand home. Hani's wife, Limpo, has lashed out at today's ruling. She's accused the Constitutional Court of being a dictator. In 2020, Walush was denied parole by Justice Minister Ronald Lamola. That decision has been set aside and the department has 10 days to release him. ENCA's senior journalist, Aviwe Mtila, was in court and has the story. I don't really give a shit because this court has not even addressed the victims. I don't exist. He is busy giving us a lecture about a Polish man who came to South Africa to kill my husband. An emotional Dimpo Hani, just moments after South Africa's apex court ordered Justice Minister Ronald Lamola to release her husband's killer. The Constitutional Court has set aside the minister's 2020 decision refusing parole, saying it was irrational. On a Talk way to forward, me Lord. after two years. Karma exists. All of them there, sitting there, from Zondo downwards. Mm. This judgment is diabolical. Mm. Totally diabolical. I've never seen anything like this. And my understanding of Zondo's judgment, as he was talking, indirectly he says, Walus did well to kill my husband. Now let me tell, give you free information. If my husband was not killed, would never have had elections. Mandela, after my husband was murdered, said to the clerk, for us to stop this, give us election date. That's why Zondo and his friends today are sitting in this court. Justice has given birth to injustice today. In jail, Janus Walush even attacked other prisoners. One prisoner has even a picture of Nelson Mandela. He attacked it. How is that remorseful? How is that uh, been uh, 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 reconstructed? He didn't. And we have proven that to court throughout the trial process. The Justice Department says it will apply its mind to the judgment. We've noted the court's decision. We'll have to really look at it carefully to understand um, the basis for those conclusions and then we'll have to, to apply it where we can. Um, but yeah, that, that's the long and short of it. The decision has been made by the court and we'll have to consider it and apply it. The South African Communist Party that Chris Honey helmed says it's also considering its options. We shall mobilize because obviously ours is being on the ground. So we'll meet on the ground with them. What does that mean? No, we'll meet on the ground. The ground is clear. What do we mean? We're on the ground. We'll meet on the ground. That's where we mobilize our people. That's where we mobilize society. Valus was eligible for parole as far back as 2005. This, says Chief Justice Raymond Zondo, needs to be weighed against the crime that was meticulously executed almost three decades ago. Avi Wemtila, Johannesburg.